Steam rises from my wet leg in the cold October apartment. Another month and 10 to 15 degrees before the landlord releases the heat. The third finger of my left hand is a necrotic blue where the pen bled out. Necrotic, a word I learned from the TV show about the girl tortured beyond belief, showing just enough for prime time, enough to wrestle its way into my sleep because I didn't turn away. Hung on through the long shot of the cops finding the chamber, the girl alive in the drawer, her nails black, necrotic, dying at the ends of her hands, the words nuzzling their way into me, sexual, sadist, serial killer, necrotic, a world I slid just past the door of as a kid, as a girl. Stopped by a man, the words paranoid, schizophrenic, sliding around my ankles like taffeta as I accelerated toward Ohio, away from home, and the neighbor with dead icebox eyes. The stove is on and open, the heat of the almost desperate and alone, dangerous maybe, but not more than a day-long roast, right? Whatever's sacred about the human body has to do with its ability to generate heat to keep on despite everything. The bath starts to get cold. I'm no longer young. Someone on the street below is yelling, someone else singing what could almost be a lullaby. I turn off the stove. The night goes on. We're all just a little on fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.